Good afternoon, parents, staff and students, our entire King David Victory Park High School learning community. These are indeed very challenging times that we find ourselves in as we approach the deadline of midnight tomorrow for the full lockdown of South Africa. It leaves us with very high levels of stress and anxiety around the future and particularly the next few weeks. I'd like to extend a huge vote of thanks to the team of educators in the high school who have been working with you in a remote learning fashion over the last little while. Particular mention to Mrs. Gruzd, our Deputy Head in Charge of Teaching and Learning, Mr. John Kirchhoff, who heads up our IT and CAT departments in the school, Mr. Andrew Morewa, who is an absolute whiz with Microsoft Teams and has been supporting all of us as we have been experimenting with this platform, and indeed all of the teachers in the high school who have gone above and beyond uh, what I have expected of them in terms of delivering a curriculum in a remote fashion. It is a huge challenge to put our school online, as you will all appreciate. A total transformation had to happen to distance learning in an incredibly short space of time. And uh, the teachers did it. They got there. They equipped themselves with the necessary knowledge about the technology and what it offers. And they certainly have been testing a variety of different platforms and methodologies to see what works best for a particular subject, particular grade, etc. We've been in beta testing these last few days and will continue up until the 3rd of April with testing a variety of strategies. We are moving in uncharted waters. We are not a remote learning institution and uh, unknown territory for all of us. Uh, to this end, I'm going to be sending out a student online survey on Monday to all of the students through their English teams. And I'd like every student, please, before Friday the 3rd, to complete and submit that online survey so that I can get a handle of what has worked well for you during this pilot phase that we have been in. Critically important that I get this feedback from you. Please be expansive in your answers and make sure that you submit before 5 o'clock on Friday the 3rd of April. It is you, the students, who've had to do the work yourselves at home because making mistakes and learning by trial and error is one of the most important types of learning you can engage in. It's also developing incredible resist resilience in you, um, which is an important byproduct of this online uh, remote or distant learning platform that we're working with. I have only the highest praise for all of you from grade 8 to grade 12 for the maturity with which you've engaged in this extensive program that has been sent out to you. And yes, there's still some frustrations that we are hoping to iron out over the next little while. Um, but slowly and by surely we will get there and we will be in a much better position to roll out um, a more sophisticated program in the near future. When we close school on Friday the 3rd uh, for our Pesach holiday, it is very important that everyone takes a break until the 20th of April. It is a time for families to be together um, within the restrictions of our lockdown um, and to spend some downtime um, catching your breath because this has been a stressful period, as I've said, for parents, for students, for our staff. We need some time out, some disconnected time and time just to connect differently to one another um, without the technology for a while. Rabbi Rabinovitz has put together a lovely Pesach message for our community, which will also be going out to you in due course. I'd like us to please focus on supporting our amazing teachers and respect what they are trying to do. This doesn't mean that when there are things that are not working out well, you desist from contacting me or contacting us and letting us know because we do want to get everything right and, and working optimally. 
But um, I've had so many positive messages um, from our parent body uh, praising the teachers for what they've been doing. Um, please keep that coming through and realize that they are trying their level best uh, in very difficult circumstances. I came across on social media a lovely letter that I wanted to share with you from an American educator. So please take it within the context of American education. Um, and it reads as follows. We gave educators almost no notice. We asked them to completely redesign what schools look like. And in about 24 hours, local administrators and teachers, Apollo 13, the problem and fixed it. Kids learning, children being fed, needs being met in the midst of a global crisis. No state agency did this. No so-called national experts on curriculum. The local educators fixed it in literally hours. In fact, existing state and federal policies actually created multiple roadblocks. Local schools figured out how to do it around those too. No complaining, no hand-wringing, just solutions and amazingly clever plans. Remember that the next time someone tries to convince you that schools are better run by mandates from non-educators. Remember that the next time someone tells you that teachers have it easy or try to persuade you that educators are not amongst the smartest, most ingenious people in society. And please never say to me again, those who can't do anything else just go into teaching. Get out of the way of a teacher and watch with amazement at what really happens. Good learning must be sustained in a productive way. We want to ensure a sustainable distance learning program because we do not know how long it will be before our school will actually be in session again. We are currently ready for anything that comes at us post 20 April, so please stay tuned for further communications in this regard. In the meantime, I urge you all to be safe, to enjoy the time together, to get through this very difficult next three weeks that we have ahead of us. And I'll be thinking of all of you. Please take care, be safe, and we will chat again soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.